This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. The Northwest Indiana economy is the strongest it's ever been since IU and Associate Professor of Economics Micah Pollock started tracking it more than a decade ago. Pollock and a panel of other experts addressed the Northwest Indiana Business Roundtable and Construction Advancement Foundation's Business and Economic Outlook on Friday at Ivy Tech in Valparaiso. Speakers touted progress that's been made, such as the plan for the South Shoreline Double Track and the Westlake Expansion Projects, as well as the plan to tear down the prison in Michigan City, among other projects. By day, Nate Venturelli works as a welder at Nipsco and belongs to USW Local 12775 in Porter. By night, he's a country singer and now an award-winning one. He won the JMA Entertainer of the Year Award at the famed Grand Old Opry in Nashville after winning the Rising Star of the Year Award last year. The Josie Music Awards recognize independent country music artists. He's working on releasing an album as well as singles like That's Life and Hard Hat, which are based on his life experiences. There's strife within Hammond as supporters and opponents of two proposed referendums on the November 7th ballot are attempting to sway voters in their direction. The school city of Hammond is seeking a renewal of an operating referendum that includes funding that would go towards teaching and staff positions, educational and equity programs, bus transportation, safety and security initiatives, and school health services. If not renewed by voters, Superintendent Scott Miller has said that it would force job cuts and eliminate some programs and services like the aforementioned bus transportation. And in sports, the journey to Lucas Oil Stadium continued with the sectional championships on Friday. And in Class 5A, Maryville met Morton for the title. Here's a look at that game. Sectional Championship Week is here. Maryville looks to win its fifth consecutive crown, while Morton is seeking its first title since 2012. Pirates with the ball deep in Morton territory late in the first. The handoff is to Trey Stevens, who dives in for the touchdown. Pirates strike first, and they aren't done there. Time winding down in the quarter. Maryville sticks with the ground attack and turns to Javion Gills. The senior fights off the defense and stays on his feet, crossing the goal line. That gives the visitors a 14-0 lead. Early in the second, Maryville goes back to work, and so does Stevens, who goes left, shifts directions, and then goes in untouched for another TD. Pirates starting to pull away. To see the full version of that story, make your way to Facebook, Twitter, and JetTV.com. For all other local headlines, head to NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.